Hey, True Believers England team here with the top 20 women of the X-Men as chosen by the viewers. We do a tier list sometimes on Sundays, and this is the results. I have everybody score everyone 1 through 10. The highest score, obviously, at the top, lowest score at the bottom. Now you know the rules. Let's get this party started. All righty. Now, I thought the New Mutants were a little bit more important here, so I was actually surprised to find out that the worst of them, actually, it's not the worst. I ended up having 21, and the one that ends up getting knocked off the list was Dust with only 17 points. However, the leader of the New Mutants, long, long time ago, ended up being our new number 20 with only 28 points, Karma goes all the way at the bottom of the list if i can actually uh get her up there there you go okay here we go let's get karma in her spot here all right leader of the new mutants back in the day at number 20 at number 19 we have the young lady with the grossest mutant power or maybe not of all time but morrow the ability to uh what is that uh, expose her bones and her bones and, and re i don't know it's kind of it's kind of sick all righty next up i'm kind of surprised that she is only at uh what are we on number uh 18 because she is the daughter of gene gray and scott summers but we got rachel summers here all righty and she had 50 points so there was a bump up from 38 to 50 there next however young lady in the days of future past movie we have Pixie. I know she was in the comics as well. There you go. At number 17. At number 16. Oh, goodness. What is What are their names? The uh, It starts with an E and it's blink. Um, I forget the team she was on. She was also in the Days of the Future Past movie. All righty. And she ended up with 58. With 60, we have the other young lady everybody knows from the New Mutants. And that's Danielle Moonstar. I think she was called like Psyche or something like that back in the day. She's at number 15. At number 14, we have uh, Deadpool's sidekick here with uh, Domino. And Domino ended up with 62. Now, we could take a little jump by nine points to 71, and we had a tie. It's my channel. I choose, uh, you know, uh, it rights to break any tie. So at 71 points, we have Magic taking the 13 spot. But also with 71 points is Miss Allison Blair. I don't know what I just did to screw things up there, but here we go. We have that. And uh, finally, ending the the uh, 20 through 11, we have Banshee's daughter, Siren. Now, don't ask me what I did here to mess up my board, but that's what we've got. All righty. So just to recap the top 20, we have Karma at number 20. Bone, well not Bone Marrow, Marrow at number 19, Rachel Summers at number 18, Pixie at number 17, Blink at number 16, number 15 is Danielle Moonstar, number 14, Domino, number 13 is Magic, and number 12, Dazzler, number 11, rounding out the top half, or the bottom half, I should say, of the top 20. You can't see her because I screwed up somehow, is uh, Siren. So there you go, gang. That is the bottom. Now let's find out who is in the top 10 of the women of the X-Men. Yeah, I know you're on pins and needles, but the first one right out the gate, and she has 76 points up uh, four from Siren 72. And that is the young lady everybody found in the mall. And her name is Miss Jubilee. The one that a lot of people... Uh, Learn to know through Pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut video giveaway. Everybody had those Pizza Hut videos back in the day. Next up, some don't even believe she needs to be on the list because we've already got a Wolverine. We have X-23 with 77 points. Yes, guys, you put X-23 above Dazzler. I don't know if that's right, but hey, I don't make the rules. I don't make the list. I help. I, I put my votes in, but X-23 ended up at number uh, nine. Number eight, we're going to go over to Alex Summers' house and say, hey, can your wife come out and play? And we're going to talk about Polaris. Polaris, supposedly daughter of Magneto, but that had been debunked. I don't know if they, um, I don't know if they reinstated that she was the daughter of Magneto, but for a while there it was like, nope, nope, she's not. That was all, that was all wrong. All righty, now we're going to take a bump. See, Polaris had 81 points. 
now we're we're already over the hundred mark with the next one from uh i think what we're on number six is the uh the number no we're on number seven here and uh 110 points this one got and that's miss emma frost that tells you how popular the next few are and i know you're looking ahead to see who's there and you're going to know number one before i announce number one just because of who's left but we have next up with 115 points we have the other villain turned hero and that's miss mystique all righty Coming in at number four, talking about somebody turned into something else. We have a uh, British aristocrat turned Japanese ninja assassin mentalist in Psylocke at number five. Coming in at number four. Oh, I, the reason why I'm misnumbering is because I've got them misnumbered on my paper here. Now we're at number four. And some would say as one of the, as the original lady of the X-Men, she should be higher. But she does come in at number four. But just to tell you how popular she is, she comes in at number four with 119 points. Oh, and uh, Psylocke had 118. So it was literally just two points that could have uh, switched them. Actually, no, I would have put, if it was a tie, I would have put Jean Grey above Psylocke. All righty. Now we, we're going from 119 to 143 points. Very, very popular from here, here on in with these three. And at number three, We've got to go with Miss Sprite herself. What were some of her names? Shadowcat? Shadowcat's probably her, her best name, I think. But we've got Kitty Pride. And then at number two with 149 points. Well, we've got to go down south, pick up the Southern Belle, and that's Rogue. So obviously you could see right here Storm's number one. But you gotta see, you gotta see this here. I'm I'm gonna scroll down, just give you one more time here. Um at number number 10. We have Jubilee with 76. Not bad, not bad. X-23 with 77. Polaris with 81. Then we have Emma Frost. And she bumped everything up to 110. 115 for Mystique. We had 118 for uh, Psylocke. 119 for Jean Grey. Then we have another huge leap. 143 points for Kitty Pride, and then 149 for Rogue. And you, this is, I think she may be the highest scored person on the list right now of any tier list. That Storm with 170 points, everybody put her in ten, at number 10, uh, gave her 10 points is what I'm trying to say. So there you go, guys. That is your top 10 ladies of the X-Men. You chose. I helped. But I, I promised I would adhere to the ruling. That's why Dazzler is not in the top 10. And we have Jubilee, Polaris, and X-23 in there. I think she deserved better, kids. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to click like, share, ring the notification bell. Go on over to Ko-Fi. Drop a dollar in the till. Like, thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers. Thank you very, very much for watching. I know you're going to dig this. You wanna move? Take it on up and it makes you wanna groove.